It was a, a, a surprisingly uh, moving and uh, timely movie. <laughs> Very timely. It, it is, isn't it? It's um, we, we didn't really plan it that way, to be honest with you. I mean, who could have ever foreseen what we're living in now with coronavirus and unemployment being what it is and uh, the kind of the themes and and the topics that we address in our movie. So it's kind of a story meeting the moment, I'm afraid, um, and, and maybe resonating with too many people right now. <laughs> well, that so many people would want to go back to work. Yeah, right. I know <laughs> we're, we're all anxious to do that right now, myself included. Yeah, you've created a, a, a character who is uh, both current and and historical. I mean, I see a lot of my father. I see a lot of my grandfather's generation there. And, and here he is among among us now. He's he's like a walking dinosaur in some ways. Yeah, I, it, in fact, I, I modeled Allery Parks, the main character, a lot after my own father. I, I grew up an Iowa farm boy uh, around industrial river towns of the Midwest, not too far from you folks in Chicago, really, about four hours to the west of you. Um, and that was the sort of personality that I was familiar with as a kid and even into, as a young adult, uh, folks who... Uh, men and women just kind of diligently went to those factory jobs, um, blue collar work, and uh, went about their business. And when something like that is taken away from you abruptly, kind of like it is now, um, it can leave people a bit at loose ends, right? Um, and wondering what to do with themselves. And that's that's certainly the issue at work with our character, our working man. Well, especially since in the, back in those days when we were young and our parents were working, you had a job for a long time. Now it's not the same. People change jobs quite quickly. Yeah, very true. It's I mean, he is kind of a, a vestige of the past, right? Somebody who's a, a career lifelong worker at this factory. It's it's we don't see it very often anymore. In fact, that factory where we shot in Chicago, Norwich. Uh, the, the city of Norwich there, um, it closed its doors for the last time after 71 years in December of this year after we had shot there. They um, they were an operational factory when we were shooting there in, in 2018. And and uh, so it's, it's a bit of um, life imitating art, I guess, in a sad respect. And we tried a number of different tax to get the movie made and it went through a number of different drafts over the past decade but really for me um once i figured out the the biggest question for me always was why would walter his the, the neighbor across the street why would he be so committed and connected uh to what allery our lead played by peter garrity billy brown's character why would he be so um moved to support him and once and without giving away the the the, the movie um once i landed on that idea of the why then everything started to fall into place which so often happens and it I, i'd been struggling with the script for years honestly until that moment and then um once once that piece of the puzzle was resolved um then i felt like we had something that that we could shoot that we could make. You know, then we've got Talia Shire, who uh, is uh, again uh, multi multi layered as well. You know, the loving wife, the the grieving mother. You know, the uh, the supportive the supportive wife, and and also a little bit of a detective to find out. You know, you think she's kind of clueless, but you find out at the end without giving anything away how how really perceptive she was well you also don't know if you don't like her a lot in the beginning because the, the way she treats her husband she's very kind of a crusty little bit you know they're they're uh they've spent a lot of their lives together at this point and when her husband starts behaving out of the norm right it's exception to that and becomes very suspicious of course of what the next door neighbor what they have afoot, what's going on here. <laughs> she thought she knew what their life was at this point. And um, things are turned on its ear a little bit. 
What are you doing? I'm going to work. I'll be damned. What was the hardest scene for you to shoot? Um, you know, I think the the most the most difficult is was probably uh, the most emotional of the movie. There's a confrontation scene between um, Talia's character and Peter's, uh, where everything sort of comes to a to a head, right? And um, I had written I had written it differently than what we ended up shooting. It, and it was all based on a note that Talia had offered me. You just disappear. You're not here. I am. I was. I have a question about the uh, the people that you were working with who were actually worked in that factory. They yeah. knew that that factory was closing. What was their attitude? Did, they know, they? did they know the did factory? They know? No. No. At that point, um, you know, they were, and none of us knew. I mean, I didn't know until, honestly, a few days ago that... Uh, that the factory had closed. How did um, how does not being able to open in the theater affect you or the opening of the film? Well, I think it's more personally disappointing, honestly, than in a very strange way. Um, the fact that we're now not competing in the theatrical marketplace with enormous films with much bigger commercial budgets than ours. Mm -hmm. It's it it levels the playing field a bit, to be quite honest. Um, now we're one of several movies that are available for people to click at home and watch, right? And if we get enough positive reaction from people who see it, um, who knows? You know, and I do think we are pretty timely right now.